In the previous video, I defined parametric curves in R2 and R3 and gave several examples. In this video, I wanted to get into the details of how a parameterization specifically describes a shape. Let me show this by example. Here is a parameterization of a portion of a parabola, going from the origin to the point 416. A very important idea about parametric curves is that they don't just describe the shape, they describe the shape as well as movement along it. Therefore, there are many, in fact infinitely many, parameterizations of the same shape, each describing movement along the shape at a different rate. Here are four parametric curves. All of these have the same relationship where the y-coordinate is the square of the x-coordinate. t squared is t squared, t to the fourth is t squared squared, t is root t squared, and 25t squared is 5t squared. Therefore, they all trace the parabola y equals x squared. And they all start at 0, 0. If you test t equals 0 in each, you will get the point 0, 0. And they all end also at 4, 16. Again, feel free to test t equals to the end of the interval for each and find the point 4, 16. Therefore, they all trace exactly the same shape as the previous diagram. However, they all have different rates of movement and different total times. If t is measured, say, in seconds, then the first takes 4 seconds to trace the shape, the second 2 seconds, the third 16 seconds, and the fourth only 4 fifths of a second. Same shape, but different movement, and different parameterizations. Since there are different parameterizations to a curve, curves can be reparametrized. So what is a reparametrization? It is a changing the rate of movement along the curve while not changing the shape. It is accomplished by a substitution. Say I have a curve gamma with coordinates in R3. I could do this in R2 or Rn, but for elegance just R3 here, as I will commonly do throughout the course. Then I have a substitution function t equals t of u, some expression in u here which I'm going to use to replace t. This substitution needs to be monotonically increasing, so that movement is preserved in the same direction. Then I just do the replacement and I have a reparametrized curve. So, let me reparametrize the circle. Here is the parametric description of the circle from last week's video, along with four potential replacements. Each replacement is an expression in the new variable u, used to replace t, and each is monotonically increasing. The right side shows the curves with the replacements. All four replacements still trace the circle, just at different rates. But how different? 3u is going to move three times as fast. So then a full revolution will happen by the time u equals 2 pi over 3, instead of the original t equals 2 pi. u over 3 is going to move at one-third the speed. A full revolution will happen by the time u equals 6 pi, three times longer than the original t equals 2 pi. u squared will start out a bit slower, but then accelerate as the square function grows quickly. And likewise, root u will start out faster, but then decelerate as the root function goes slowly. In this way, they all describe different motions around the circle. 